Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays and another toy review. So the last time we were at Target, we did pick up a couple of these mystery mutters. These are the only ones that we saw on the shelves. And uh, I think these are the new ones. So we did pick up uh, like some of the Grave Diggers and uh, the, the, what is it, Blue Thunder that was in the last series. I had some video footage of it, but it's gone now. But we did pick up these. This is El Toro Loco. We got one El Toro Loco and we got two Dragon variants. So let's try this or see what this uh, El Toro Loco is going to look like here. William is helping me out and it's going to be the blue body. I'll explain how the mystery motors work here at the very end. Oh, this is looking really cool. Not the blue body, the black body is what I meant. This one's got blue flames. That looks so cool. So some of these mystery motors, they're kind of hit or miss. This one was definitely a hit. I think William said this was his favorite truck out of all times. So we got blue El Toro Loco, nice. We got these uh, blue and purple flames, which just look super sharp. We got this uh, yellow and uh, reddish orange horns. Got an orange chassis, silver roll, I'm sorry, silver chassis, orange roll cage. And the, of course, the brown mudding tires. Those are always there. I'm trying to zoom in on the chin hairs there. They, they do have chin hairs. They're just kind of faint. You can barely, barely make them out. They're blue just like the rest, though. And I tell you what, man, the blue flames and the blue uh, nose ring and everything, it's just super, super sharp. We really like this one. All right, let's move on to dragon number one here. Now, dragon used to be William's favorite truck of all time. So he was excited about uh, doing these, these dragons. <laughs> let's get it in the water. Fresh batch of water because, man, the mud really clouds up the water once you get it in there. Now, William was noting that uh, Dragon was a little harder to rub the mud off because it's got a lot of like the details, like the bumps, the scales and stuff like that. And the mud really got stuck in the crevices. Are you serious right now? <laughs> he was a little upset because it was the regular green colored body and he wanted something different other than the green, the typical green. But, uh, you know, you'll see in just a second, it turned out pretty good. <laughs> So yeah, it is kind of the classic green dragon. It does have a kind of a, a magenta or purple eye and the magenta in the teeth. And then of course the dragon logo is magenta. The dragon logo kind of like blends together with that magenta color. I'm not really a fan of the magenta with the logo the, or the eyeball for that matter. I don't know, it's kind of a whiff. I do like the lime green roll cage and the yellow chassis. That combo really popped for me. Uh, but yeah, that, that magenta color on the logo and stuff, not really a big fan. And of course the same with the, the, uh, the brown mutter tires and the mutter brown on the rims. That's, I think that's typical for all of the mystery mutters. All right, here's dragon number two. Get that open, William. He had no problem opening up these packages. New fresh bowl full of water. Let's get it in there. He's showing off the, the mud there so you can see what it looks like. Here we go, rubbing off all that mud, rub-a-dub-dub. What color is the body gonna be? So I was telling you, you know, the, the way that it works, there's basically, there's two base body variants with these mudder, mud, mystery mudders. And with the dragon, it looks like the you either have the, the typical green, the the, the you know, the standard green color for dragon, or you have this uh, this maroon color. And I think those are the only two main body variants that you can get. You can either get the standard green or this maroon uh, color, which, you know, I like this one a lot better than that magenta on the green chassis. The, the, the maroon with the green logo and the green fire coming out of the teeth there and the green eyeballs, that really, really popped. And then he's got like green flames coming out of the nostrils and uh, and of course, you know, those bright yellow horns on the top. And then the uh, the maroon roll cage and the black chassis really, really meshed well for me too. And he's got a lot more detail on him too. He's got like these scales or, or something like musculature maybe, I don't know. But the detail on this red body variant is, is much, much better than the green body variant. All right, so here, just to kind of compare, this is the standard green variant, and here is the red variant. And you can kind of see, I was showing off like the, the differences with the hood there. 
There's no flames coming out of the nostril on the green one, but there is flames coming out of the red one. I don't know if that's the way it is with all of the red body variants or or what what the deal was. It's just the one that we got, but uh, I don't know. I, I really like that on the red berry body variant, but the, this one, eh, this one was kind of a miss for me. <laughs> yeah, I think it was kind of a miss for William too. Uh, but yeah, we definitely like this, uh, the red body variant. El Toro Loco, of course, was our favorite. I wish there were more El Toro Locos. That was the only one they had. They only had these three out of the new Mystery Motors. Okay, so just in case you don't know how the Mystery Motors work, they do come in the box just covered in this mud-like substance. It's not really mud. I don't know exactly what it is, but it does look a lot like mud, and it kind of comes off in the water-like mud. And then once you reveal it, you get to see what your truck is underneath. I, as far as I know, there's no way of telling what truck you're actually getting, and supposedly there is a hundred different variants of, of each truck. Uh, and, and that's pretty cool, I think, actually. Some of them are hits, some of them are misses. I I don't know. And, and they're actually slightly more expensive than the regular uh, monster trucks, regular Spin Master trucks. So I'm not a big, big fan of them. I'm not gonna really go out collecting them, but they're kind of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna collect the Mystery Mutters? Leave a comment in the comment section. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Later!